is given going to the fucking boardroom or the courthouse. Like, I just, I don't want to wear that. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. So just a little update. I have not vlogged at all. I have not touched this camera since we got back from charlotte and columbia which was like over a week ago i have had so much branded content to shoot like every single day i've been working from 9 a.m to at minimum 9 p.m sometimes later if i have more editing to do like i have just been exhausted and like swamped with work and obviously i'm grateful but like this has been a very stressful <laughs> past week um so yesterday i literally like felt my body like crashing um well actually like two days ago which i had like two pieces of content that i had to submit um but i just felt my body crashing like i had the worst forehead breakout i had like four or five cysts all over my forehead and i never break out on my forehead okay i'm a jawline cheeks breakout type of girl but my whole forehead was covered in pimples and i googled it i was like what does this mean because i don't usually have forehead breakouts and they were like oh stress and girl best believe i was stressed so my forehead was breaking out my throat was starting to feel sore and i was just like my body is telling me I need to calm down. So I'm really a stickler for deadlines and getting things done on time. And I just had like a lot of things to do this week. And I gave myself yesterday a day to just like breathe. I slept in, I didn't do anything really. I watched TV, I caught up on my shows. I went to play tennis. I have literally no food. Lou has no food. He ran out of food yesterday morning. I did not have time. Okay, well, yesterday I, I could have gone, but it was my day to just like do nothing. And I was like, babes, it's, it's looking like sleep for dinner, which is not the best dog mom behavior, but I was really like, babe, <laughs> mommy will get you food tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Like you ate all your food. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But today I'm gonna go get his food. Um, but this is just to tell you, Girl, it's been hectic. I've been tired. My body was crashing. All right, we are in the car. We're about to head to Target and Kroger because where else do I ever even go? I wanted to go to Sephora because I bought some foundation that does not match. And I was in Sephora literally like two days ago because I had to shoot content in there. Forgot to exchange the foundation. So now I have to go all the way freaking back there. But anyways, girl, like, it's fine. I'm just tired. So we're just going to do Kroger and Target today. And then another day I'll have to go back to Sephora because I just, like, don't even have the, like, energy or capacity to really do that much right now. Hey, hey, hey. Brita filter I cleaned my house and I got like a full chicken from Kroger because they were like on sale today so I was like, all right let me go ahead and get a full chicken so I'm gonna try to make a full roasted chicken we're gonna see how it got
getting ready to go to brunch and I'm running late, but I was like, why don't I record? Um, it's fine. We're going to make it work. I'm going to make us late. I already know we're supposed to be there in like 30 minutes. Have I started my makeup? No, I don't even like the outfit that I'm wearing. But at this point, I don't know what. I'm trying to change it. So we're going to wear. I just have like a turtleneck bodysuit on and some pants so I'm just doing my brows I don't really think I have time to do like a full makeup look I'm doing my makeup with this fucking turtleneck on and it's just I'm not feeling it okay it's given going to the fucking boardroom or the courthouse like I just I don't want to wear that Okay, I put a corset top on and I feel like myself again. So, huh? You ready? Yeah. Okay, hair, makeup, and fit on. I'm gonna put on the Byredo Balde Freak perfume. Okay, I just threw on a leather jacket because I'm always like, cold, and I'm doing this um, source unknown. Silver bag. Okay, I'm running late, so I gotta go. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. Your girl has been working this morning. I had to submit some edits, answer some emails, and yesterday I got up the silk press vlog. My hair is curly now, but the silk press lasted like three weeks and it was real cute. So all that content is up on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. Um, what else was I going to talk about? I'm about to relax a little bit before I get back to editing the next video for Vlogmas, but I bought this little oat eggnog at the store and I want to see if I can make like a latte out of it when I was a kid I was literally like obsessed with eggnog I really don't know why because eggnog is not that good but I thought it was like the most delicious thing I had ever tasted when I was a kid this oat nog honestly it tastes solid so we're gonna see if we, we can make a cute little holiday latte out of it So I have spent the past like couple of hours just doing like housekeeping logistic stuff for work. Um, I have a bunch of content that I need to edit, but like I really needed to get my, well, I got my 2023 planner in the mail. Um, this is my 2022 planner. Isn't she cute? I didn't want to get the exact, I really liked this one. Like the pattern on it is really cute, um, but I didn't want to get the exact same one for 2023 so i got this planner this year she's cute she's a little more understated a little more mature i feel like i still kind of like this one more but whatever it doesn't really matter that much what matters is what's inside and if you're curious i got um these planners from a brand called papier and they kind of just have everything that i need in a planner i was like i've seen a lot of other influencers get like custom planners that have like areas where you can like plan out content and all this stuff i don't know this basic like weekly planner kind of has everything that i need in it um the main thing that i like is there's a lot of space to like write your day-to-day -day stuff in so if i have a lot of stuff to do on a particular day or a lot that i have to get done on a particular day i literally have like so much room to like write all of that out and then there's like a separate area where you can add in like uh 
weekly view or a monthly view there's a yearly view there's all types of stuff in there that just makes it really convenient for me to like plan out my month my year all that kind of stuff they're also just like really good quality i really like them i think i spent like 36 dollars on it and you also can like customize like um the words that are on it if you want to put your name if you want to, whatever there's just a lot of options i like it so i'm letting you know where i got mine i don't typically like write my content ideas or like voiceover scripts or anything like that in my planner i have like a separate notebook um to like write that stuff down or i'll just do it in a google doc but just based on the way that i work like i don't want ideas in the same place as i have like my schedule like my schedule is like separate from like the creative aspect of my brain if that makes sense like i need the creative stuff to be in one area and i need the like scheduling logistic stuff to be in another area but all that to say um my schedule the last couple of months has been absolutely insane um which i'm super grateful for all the opportunities and work that have been coming my way but scheduling it has been like super hectic because i have had like one to two campaigns due since like every week since november so that's a little crazy and my january is gonna look just like my december and i was supposed to go back home to new york um literally this week um so early december i had planned a trip to new york and my schedule was so crazy that i had to postpone it to january and looking at my january schedule it's just not a possibility so i postponed it again to february and hopefully in february i have a little more wiggle room um but yeah it's just not doable to be traveling all over the place when you have a lot of campaigns back to back not only do you have to shoot and submit the content but you also need to be available for edits so i shoot all my content at home i have all my equipment here all that stuff and all the stuff i regularly film with at home and yeah i could travel with those items but for example if i submit content to a brand and they need edits if i need to reshoot it's gonna look off and weird if i reshoot in a different location with a different lighting setup with a different just everything's gonna look off if the reshoot that you have to do is not in the location that you originally shot it and additionally like if i'm shooting a bunch of campaigns back to back i would have to bring all of those products that i used i would have to like i literally would have to plan to bring all of the items that i filmed with on vacation which is just like i don't want to work on vacation like i'm gonna be real with you like when i'm on vacation i'm on vacation i have no interest in shooting anything i'm happy to answer emails or make a quick change but you just don't know what a brand is going to request you to do or what changes they're going to request you to make so it just becomes complicated to try and plan vacation when you're like branded content schedule is like super packed it also gets a little stressful because like realistically branded content is what gets me paid that's how i pay my bills that's how i eat like my youtube following is not at a point where like adsense is paying me enough to like pay my bills so the way that i pay my bills is by doing branded content but if we're being real like branded content is not what makes you a successful influencer what makes you a successful influencer is like showcasing your personality and making organic content organic content is what gains you followers so if your feed is filled with branded content it's like not something that people want to engage with it doesn't feel authentic it's like girl like this is not what we followed you for like we're happy to support and we're happy that you're getting these deals but at the same time like your audience expects you to provide the content that they showed up for which is your organic content so back to back branded content means you really have to double down on making organic content as well so that as these campaigns get approved and get posted you also have organic content to like spread throughout or your whole feed is just gonna be branded content which is not exciting or engaging for anyone so all of that is to say that in terms of like how i make money as an influencer that kind of scheduling thing gets a little hectic and honestly like 
people make money in different ways. If you're making money based off AdSense, you really don't have to do as many branded campaigns. If you're making money off of like affiliate links, you don't have to do as many branded campaigns. But this is kind of at this point in my career, the tension or like struggle I'm having to deal with is like finding that balance between branded content and organic content and posting it in a way that's like healthy and also giving myself breaks because I really genuinely like I think I talked about this in another vlog like since I've gotten back from Thanksgiving I've had like one day off in the past like two three weeks and that's not super healthy but it's like a deadline is a deadline and I have to meet those deadlines because it's like very unprofessional to not meet a deadline. Good morning. Um, I just got out of bed. I mean, I was up at 8.30 and why was I just like checking my emails on TikTok, on, just on my phone for two hours. So it's 10.30 now. Um, what a grand waste of time. But today I kind of just had the same type of thing planned as yesterday, really just catching up on like logistics, housekeeping stuff. For work and I also am trying to catch up on editing so like editing all of the vlogs that I have recorded so it's really just gonna be like the same thing as yesterday um, but tomorrow I will be shooting content I gotta get my nails done and all of that so I'm gonna check in with y'all tomorrow just so y'all don't have to watch me um, answer emails and edit for another 20 minutes so thanks for watching girl and i will catch you later tomorrow i guess but i don't know when in the timeline of time and space that this video will go up anyways um ranting now but i will catch y'all in the next video